confront a friend about this, but I have to do what's right, you know, by the community and try my best to make sure that everything that we do is on the up and up. Because everybody wants to call a black man a crook. Everybody wants to believe that if you're a black man, you run a business. They just looking for you. They're like, oh, we looking for that shady Negro to just be out here robbing black folks because that's what they do. That's what niggas do. You know, and so ultimately... Um, I read up on it, did my research, and I came to the conclusion that I agree with the, a lot of the experts who said, yeah, it looks like a Ponzi scheme. So I did a video about it, and I said, we're not going to support Big Connect. We're not backing this. We think it's a Ponzi scheme. So if you promote Big Connect, Connect here, we're going we're gonna to deal with We're going to have to kind of confront you about that a little bit. And so um, a lot of people gave me pushback. A lot of people said, oh, no, that's not true. We want to bring a representative or, you know, from Big, Big Connect on your platform so they can talk about it. And I said, no, that's not going to happen because because you're going to be promoting Big Connect. You know, when you get in here, you do a good interview. Because I know a lot, I know a lot of black, a lot of black folks who fall for a fast talking sucker. You know, somebody who's yapping really good and sounding really good, and they get behind it and they want to believe in something. And the next thing you know, a bunch of people have gotten robbed. You've seen this happen time and time again in the black community, where somebody has some something that sounds good, but it really ain't good. You know, so I said, no, no, that's not going to happen. They're not coming on my podcast to talk about. It. They can talk to, to our team in private, but I don't, I don't want to talk to them, and they're not going to be on my podcast uh, and so anyway um so I walked away with that conclusion. I made that decision, and I will admit I was a little torn.